So this is actually very easy. We just have to make a list where we evaluate all the different different points that there are. And as we are um, in mod 11, there's just 11 possible values that we can try, or that we have to try. And um, that way we can just calculate th this, this side of the equation. For example, for zero, it's one. Uh, for one, it's four. For two, it's two. And for three, it's one. That's fairly simple. We just do the regular addition and multiplications and then take mod 11 at the end. So zero to the power of three plus two times zero plus one is one. And um, one to the power of three is one plus two times one is three plus one is four. And um, two to the power of three is eight. And plus two times two is four is 12 plus one is 13. And 13 mod 11 is two. And so on. I'm not going to do all of this now. So, so now it's a bit tricky to, um, uh, at least it's trickier than in the uh, regular numbers, uh, than the normal numbers, to find um, the square roots. And for that, we can just make another table where we just square all the numbers. Like 1 times 1 is 1, and 2 times 2, times two is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, and we do that for all the for all the numbers and eventually we get a list of uh for example um a list a list of values and um four times four for example is 16 so sometimes we get numbers larger than 11 so we have to take the mod again which is five in this case this one is 25 so the mod is like three so it's it's, it's fairly simple to do this in your head and then um we get uh, 36, 49, 64, 81, and of course 100, which is uh, uh, not 99, but like 100, so the mod 11 is 1. Here it's 4, here it's 9, 5, and 3. And then what we got to do to find the, oh, I messed that up, to find the, the solutions is we check like y squared. How we how, how can we get one as y squared? We can get it here by using one times one. And we can also get it with ten. So one and ten are uh, are solutions for this equation for y for the x value of zero. So now we know that the points zero one and also maybe I show it below, and also 0, 10 are on the elliptic curve. And then for the next one, we just have to check we want 4. Of course, we can achieve that with 2 times 2, which is still simple, and then also 9 times 9, which is not that obvious. So we get uh, two more points, which is like, oh, maybe I should write it down here first, 2 and 9, and uh, 1, 2, and 1, 9 are uh, the next points. And we can continue that uh, by continuing cal calculating these values and then ch uh, checking which ones are um, like corresponding to it over here. And yeah, that's it. And that way we get the list of all the points which are on the elliptic curve.